What up, y'all? I'm on the internet. How about you? All right. Okay. Huh. Opposition is a strong first pick. I do like Signets. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try this. We're going to try something new. We have a Stip. It's an older one. Well, that's not... It's an older one from D Dan from Dan to D. Build a deck that uses token creatures to attack with equipped swords. Preferred color direction: white, red, black. Thanks for your, thanks your loyal YouTube viewer. So let's try that. It's either Elspeth. Yeah, let's take Elspeth. Elspeth is a great token maker. And we're gonna hope we get like a. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. It's an older stip, but it checks out. Um, I think it's actually Skull Clamp. We're making a bunch of tokens. Skull Clamp seems like the place we want to be. Also, for trying to get a Stoneforge, we could take Splinter Twin because we are attacking with Splinter Twin tokens. Okay. Hmm. Felidar Retreat makes tokens. Could be Dece. I think we'll just take Felidar Retreat. Definitely not the strongest card in this pack. But. But. Oh, what up, Jake? Um. Hmm. So, no tokens here. Garrick makes tokens, but it's not red, black, white. But that might be Thank fine. You. Oh, six question marks. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. You mean these clamps that I use every day? I'll take the Garrick, sure. Okay, well, nothing in here is great. We could take Toxic Deluge, because if we're only making tokens, <clears throat> and consistently so, Deluge could be good to, like, clear the board a bit. I don't think we want Huntmaster. Uh, Hero's Downfall is pretty good. I don't think I necessarily want to commit to green here. Actually, we'll take the Marsh Flats. Yeah, Marsh Flats seems perfect. Whether we're Abzan or whether we are, uh... Wow, we've seen, like, three Eldrazi so far. That's something. Um, yeah, I'll just take Verdant Catacombs. Again, whether, whether Abzan or Mardu, I think all these lands are just fine. Same thing with Anguish on Making. It's kind of like a Hero's Downfall, only a little more versatile. Spectral Procession makes tokens, but the mana cost is a little prohibitive. So. It's taking a while. <clears throat> oh, I was really hoping Elspeth Conqueror's Death came back. That is a solid... A solid choice. Yawgmoth, also a solid choice. But I, I assume we're going to be trying to make a lot of Planeswalker tokens. Which makes Elspeth Conqueror's Death a little sweeter. You've either been streaming during work or late night. Can you do something in between so I can show support? I don't think so. 
Maybe. But I don't know. Damnation and Ravages War, huh? Huh. Fascinating. We have no swords yet, which is unfortunate. We have Skull Clamp. Considering we have Toxic Deluge, I think I want Ravages of War here. If we can just get like a couple Planeswalkers out and kill all the lands, it feels pretty good. None of these are great. I do like a Glorybringer. I also like a Heartless Act, but I want to take the Heartless Act. Uh, Crux is fine. Alright, end of that pack was not super exciting, but what can you do? Well, it's not a token, and it means passing like Avenger of Zendikar, but I don't know. It's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out if you restrict the Storm Deck's mana, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh huh. This pack is not very good. Where are my tokens at? I got a tendrils. I think it's actually just warm power stone. Warm power stone seems pretty good, especially if we're playing more expensive cards. Yeah. Can you take cards with swords in their art instead? Maybe. Maybe. Um Hanger Rack Walker. That guy makes some tokens. Packrat makes tokens. Yeah, let's take Packrat. Actually, Packrat's got to be better than Hanger Backwalker. Uh, there's the Stoneforge Mystic. That's actually perfect. Yes. And I'm sure we can get swords. They're definitely not super high priority. See what I mean? <laughs> you see what I'm saying here? I think it's actually Elspeth here. I know we can get more swords, because they're just not high. And I think I'd rather have the Elspeth, because it's another card. It's, I want Planeswalkers that make tokens, and there's not that many of them. And to be honest, Sword of Feast and Famine might actually table. Ooh, Council's Judgment, Sword of Fire and Ice, and Sun Titan. Sun Titan's not going to get much. I think we're just taking the Sword of Fire and Ice here. <sighs> or Council's Judgment. We can take Sword here. We have Anguished on Making already, which is very similar in most situations. And we have to start picking up some swords. Oh, she is holding a sword, actually. That's a good point. And this one, too. Well, they're not swords, technically, I guess, but... You know...
It's a long thing that hurts if you get hit with it close enough. Hmm. Oh, Resto is cool. Liliana makes tokens. Resto's not hitting anything. Let's just take the Liliana. Brimaz makes tokens. Gristlebrand and Ashen Rider? Jeez. I kind of just want to take Gristlebrand and have a sub uh, sub reanimate theme. We got Liliana already. Oh, Exhum? Hmm. What else are we putting in the graveyard? Interesting. Don't think I care about Fatal Push. Or Hall. Actually, Hollowed Season Blade is a great way to put things in the graveyard. That's kind of funny, actually. I'm going to take the Season to Hollow Blade. Eh, I'll take Rager, I guess. I don't think we're playing Rager because I just don't think he's that good. Oblivion Ring actually seems fine here. Eh, it's like a Yorion. I think we might just be black white here. Lyra is actually pretty decent. I've definitely brought in Lyra in, in one. Okay, I like it. There's the batter skull. Oh, that's fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted with Stoneforge Mystic. And this pack is not even super impressive. I think Thoughtseize is good, but I think just having batter skull with Stoneforge is really uh, where you want to be. Were you and Robbie doing a set for you? Possibly. I kind of want like a bunch of lands in this deck, so maybe Mox Diamond's good. Vindicate's also good, but I think Vindicate has a much higher likelihood of coming back. Uh, Godless Shrine seems fantastic for us. We have Marsh Flats and a Verdant Catacomb to go get it. I love Lingering Souls, but I think we have to pass it for for decent mana here. So, Worm Coil makes tokens, and it's also a banger. Yeah, we're definitely just taking Worm Coil here. Uh, we cannot we cannot take Souls in a in a black white deck with uh no fixing whatsoever. I mean, hopefully if Souls comes back, that would be ideal. Tide Taker's pretty cool, and it makes it 1-1. One, one. Uh, no, I don't think the Snow Duels are nearly good enough to put in the cube. I mean, you would much sooner put the Triomes. The Triomes are literally just strictly better than the, than the Snow Duels. I mean, in fact, like, even the... Um, even the Almond Kit ones that cycle enter the battlefield tapped or strict, like those are just all better. The snow part isn't relevant, so. Jitte. How many equipment do we have? Skull clamp, swords, batter skull, Jitte? That seems pretty decent. Jitte also just wins games sometimes. I'm going to take Jitte here. We only have six creatures, but we have Fell of our Retreat, Liliana, Elspeth. And Elspeth, so that's like four more things that make creatures. It might actually be Blade Splicer. Uh, 
Yeah, I like Splicer here. Oh, Shambling Vent? <gasps> but also Reanimate? Oh, man. Like, we already have Pack Rat and Seasoned Hollow Blade to discard Gristlebrand. Hmm. Unfortunately, this will not come back. I think it's got to be Shambling Vent here. That's unfortunate. That was a disciplined pick. Or you could always just try to cast Gristlebrand. Stranger things have happened. This is actually 22 cards, and two of them are these guys. So... We actually do need some playables. Ravages of War might make the cut. Hmm. Could actually take land tax. Uh, Vent cannot wheel when there are eight cards in the pack. <laughs> that is not... That is not how drafting works, Jimmy. I think Eidolon is actually pretty good, especially because we have um, uh, swords and things for first strike. I want to take the Sling Gang Lieutenant. That guy makes tokens. This guy's actually pretty decent. Thank you. I tried to donate to say hello. My PayPal 2FA... Oh, 2 back. Uh, I think I can... Yeah, yeah is messed up so stand by josh thank you. thank you for the gifted subs my dude really appreciate you buddy let's take out ravages and there's one other card i was thinking thank of taking you. out take out toxic deluge for now we can board that in i think this is actually a fine because even if we just discard uh thank you gristle brand and then reanimate with liliana it's still pretty sweet it's still a gristle brand thank you Sure, I'll take that. Josh, man, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> That's a second to last Shadow, pick through the breach. Wow. Josh VS actually Kerwood. Hello, Frank. This is Josh VS. Wow. That sounds legit. Face Fetter's last pick is pretty nice. Hmm. Because we have we have Mox Diamond and Felidar Retreat, I think we want a bunch of lands. So I actually think we're going to play 17 lands, Mox Diamond, and Lotus. We have to make one cut, though. I think it might be Faith's Fetters. We have Oblivion Ring and Anguish done making. Pretty sure that's Kerwit. Doubt it. It said it was you. I don't know why it would be Kerwit. That's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, let's take out face fitters for now. Lotus, Vent, Marsh. Okay, so 6-6, six, six, huh? I think we're going 5-7. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sources of black, plus Lotus, plus Mox Diamond. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 11, 9, yeah, that seems good. So we have 16 lands. Wait, what? What did I... Wait, hold on. Did I mess up somehow? Oh, I had Mox Diamond in the deck. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I actually need... Or no, I didn't have Lotus in the deck. Okay. So I do need one more cut if I want to play 17 lands. Which I definitely do. I don't really want to cut Gristlebrand. That guy seems very good. Gristlebrand is trash. Oh boy. Get a little contrarian Joe over here. That's not my name at all. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Snagglewit. I think I'm a pink cat or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear. I mean, maybe 16 land Lotus is fine, but I really like with Mox Diamond, you're going to have to discard a land. Kerwit really mean mugger donated $1. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh boy, this is amazing. What's even happening right now? What a time to be alive. I like all of these cards. We could actually go for, we could go 41. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just add one more swamp. All right, I don't hate it. Thank you. I know a drunk. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. All right, let's do it. Oh, Kenny Colburn, thank you for the resub, buddy. Finally figured out how to give Prime subs only added since March. It's it's it hasn't been a full year, so I think that's the important part. Just Shut keep up in mind. And take my money. Kurthwalk the mole versus Beat Badge. <laughs> BS Beat Badge. Thank you for the dollar, guy. I don't know what's happening anymore. My discomfort is looming large. What are they doing here? Noble Hierarch? Lotus. That was not, it's not a Lotus. Now they're gonna play Corsair of Crufix or um, Dryad of the Leasing Grove. Those are my guesses. They're just gonna attack? Oh boy, things are happening. They did nothing. They did nothing. I'll play uh, Tytherino McTakerson. I'll daze it. Days for days. They didn't do anything. I'm starting to wonder if these people are even real. <laughs> yeah, you would. Mm-hmm. Get him. Get him. Yeah, that's right. You take that two damage. I'm tempted to kill that, but like if they go untap like Elder Gargaroth, it feels bad, so. I guess we'll just play old Hollow Blade. If we had more removal in hand, I would do it, but But see like they have one, two, three, four, five, six mana now. I don't think the seventh mana is really gonna be the deal breaker there. Everybody get them. You're just taking five here? Lordy. Lordy. Have mercy. Yeah, it's going to sound weird to say, but I'm really glad. Uh, not glad, but it's like, it's relieving to see that Kibler also has the same type of trolls. And I think it's because the fact that both Kibler and I both, like when people friend request us, we just accept everybody. And then it bites us in the ass, which is why like a year ago or 
a year and a half ago, I stopped friend requests. I, I stopped accepting everyone's requests because I'm like, if you don't show that like we have something in common or that like, you know, there's some sort of mutual, you know, connection between us, then like, I just don't, it's not worth my, my risk. I thought what we had was, but Chris, I, I, uh, oh, oh God. Is it hot in here? We're going to draw anguish on making to get rid of this face fetters. You ready? <laughs> How does he do it? Nobody knows. fascinating so why did, i feel like oh, okay okay <laughs> oh what up neil what is this three four five? this is six damage and they go to ten they go to four god sling gang almost kills them by them by itself You actually took the... I did. Well, if I know you and if I interacted with you. And a lot of times people send me messages. They're like, hey, this is so-and-so from the chat. And I'm like, oh, hey, so-and-so. I've had positive interactions with you. And I know you're not a literal crazy QAnon right-wing nutcase. And so then I'll accept you. Yeah, it's very simple. I mean, I don't have Facebook. <laughs> but that's not the point. Also, guys, look what I got today. My Ryzen, my Ryzen 5900X got here today. Oh, good. Elsbeth. Elsbeth. Okay. Well, that is, that is, that is good. That is a thing that you have. Well, that is not going to be a huge deal to them. Yep, really, really not sure how to deal with Elspeth here, to be quite honest with you. That's, that might, uh... Uh, my GPU is a 3080, currently. <laughs> currently. Um, well, this, this can nug them for three. But I have no doubt that they literally just block everybody. I don't know what's going on here. I just want to go to my combat step. Attack your face. Yep. Sounds good. Probably gonna... I don't really want to, like, this is a secret, I, I, this is just, like, three to the face, so I don't really want to just run this out there and... Hardcast Inkwell Leviathan. Well, they can't activate Elspeth here, which is pretty nuts. That's actually kind of sweet. <laughs> Can we kill them here? They block here, they take three, they go to four. <sighs> I 
Wow, we get to put them into one? That's pretty frustrating. They might want to kill this more. Actually, that might do it. They might want to kill this more because it, it hinders them, and this I can just make it destructible anyway, so... That actually would be amazing if they block Eidolon and then we just get to sling gang Lieutenant their face. And they did not want to do that. They did want to do that. Wow, that's really weird. I mean sling bang before sling sling gang before combat doesn't do anything, right? Like Because next turn we can still win with, um, we can win with Spirit Token into Sling Gang if they don't have a way to kill the Spirit or gain life. Oh, if we can sack anything, it would be insane. We, I wouldn't even be questioning. This guy attacks for eight because of the... Look how exalted that, that Inqua Leviathan is. Wow. They had to have a flying blocker. really unfortunate and not a card that helps us do anything <laughs> we can put them to one but they had exactly flying blocker <sighs> I mean we're not dead yet we can literally play pack rat we can block the Inkwell Leviathan. We can probably discard Worm Coil because I don't think the game is going to go long enough for that guy to make a difference. If they attack with Mull Drifter, was this four, five, six, six plus seven, thirteen? So you have to really block this guy. Yeah, if I swing out the whole team, they're going to figure it out, not God. It's not a very complex blocking situation. Stick the 2-2 two -two in front of the 1-1, one -one, the 1-1 one -one in front of the 2-1, and the 1-1 one -one in front of the 3-1. Done. Just that guy, huh? Okie dokie. <laughs> well, there it is. 
There it is. Unfortunately, these are not rat goblins. Oh, we're definitely swinging. Like, definitely, definitely swinging. But I have a feeling it's not going to make a difference. I mean, we literally zero cost of swinging, seeing how they block. Hmm. Yep, I mean, this is pretty much it, so... Lotus and Gristle Brand would have been pretty good. So, Face Fetters, because they have some decent creatures. I mean, I feel like like the, the the points we would have deluged, it would have just killed us just as much as it would have killed them. Like, we had a bunch of one-toughness creatures, so, like, I, I don't think it's really where we want to be. I can see they got Seasoned Hollow Blade. Yeah, Sculler's not terrible. I'm just never a huge fan of Sculler. I feel like he's just very easy to remove. This hand seems great. If we could top deck a Lotus, that'd be sweet. I think I don't think we can. I don't think we can mulligan this hand. It sucks that we have two of our fetch lands with a Felder retreat, but Just do Godless Shrine. All right. It's got planes here. If only, yeah. If this is in your opening hand, put it into play. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to try to draw some lands here. That's for sure. Eh, we'll just pass here. Um, I don't want to actually draw two more cards yet. Which is a weird thing to say, but... Okay. Okay. Ling of Wrath of God. That'd be cool. Ever flowing chalice. I'm probably gonna get rid of that. That's just too much mana for one man. 
But alternatively, we can just get rid of whatever they play with it. Let's make a cat. Oh, I like putting a stone forge into play. That's actually kind of good. And warm power stone I don't really care about. Actually, maybe I take the warm power stone out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's either gonna be an Elspeth or like a I guess that's the only thing I can think of. Man, get some every time. Boo -doo -doo. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Land would have been cool there. So they can activate this guy and, and, and do their little combats. <sighs> Oh yeah, bring that guy. Okay, you got it. Okay, cool, glad you tapped it for one mana. I love when people tap shit unnecessarily, like, why? What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. All right. What's coming down now? The next spell? <sighs> cool. Solid up, people. Lotus, Mox Diamond, Blade Splicer, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Six cards, huh? We'll keep one, two, three lands. We'll keep. So it's one, two cards we're getting rid of. One, two, three, four, five. Probably just one more land, to be quite honest. <sighs> I think Splicer is great. It lets us draw two cards off Skull Clamp and puts a body on the board. I mean, otherwise, we're like playing. I think Retreat is more meth than, than Blade Splicer here. Heartless Act one time. Oh, it's already gone. <laughs> I 
It's actually pretty good. Um, So next time we can actually play Blade Spicer and the Skull Clamp it. Unless they have Faith's Fetter or something? No, okay, they're just gonna play stupid stupid chalice again. Yeah, Blade Splicer is Mall Drifter. So next time we get to play Liliana and get back Stoneforge or Warm Coil. Ah, Warm Coil seems pretty good. Seems good. Hmm. So let's clamp here. Attack Elspeth. I mean, Fetters on Elspeth seems fine. Why is that not great? I mean, it literally deals with Elspeth. Unless they also have Anguish on making. I'm expecting a Mole Drifter. Oh, wow. Geist of St. Traft. After taking two from Watery Grave. I don't understand, but okay. I wonder if they have I feel like they might have a Venser which is why I made this attack because I feel like if they're going to use it <sighs> sure I think the last card in hand is Faith Fetters, right? Like, they haven't used it, and... So they have Faith Fetters in whatever they drew this turn. Avenger of Zendikar. Wow. Hmm. Well... Oh, so we know their last card is Face Fetters. Okay. So. It's interesting, because we can Elspeth to make a bunch of guys. Which means, like, if they don't do anything with this, then we get to Liliana and get back Worm Coil. Four, five, six. This is eight mana, so... Right now we're at a point where we can actually cast Gristlebrand. <laughs> I 
And this is a grindy match. This is only game two. <sighs> yeah, solid top deck. Oh boy. And of course they're gonna have face hitters for Elspeth. So that will prevent me from destroying the Inkwell Leviathan that they get. Hmm. Did I say Inkwell? I meant Blightsteel. Anguish done making does not even stop that guy, so that's cool. Oh, yes, it does. Anguished on making. I was literally thinking Anguished on making, getting rid of Faith's fetters. And then, like, then I can Elspeth and negative three, and that won't kill it. So, Els Anguished on making doesn't get rid of this, but it actually does if we draw it. This is a weird attack. This is a very strange attack. So this way we keep a 4-3, otherwise we just keep a 1-1, one, one, or a 4-2 rather. Come on, Anguished on making one time. We can still play Liliana if we Anguished on making, so... Hmm. Well, we could play Lilian and Pack Rat. Liliana puts Warm Coil on the board. Oh, we also have seven mana. I just thought we had eight. We have seven. Return. Return. Descender. And we'll play Pack Rat. All right. This is a worm zombie. Worm coil engine is black. Um, we're actually just going to block here. What if we block with both? We take three poison, which means next turn we have to block, this is 11. So we can take six poison, which means you have to block five. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. I mean, the reason being this guy's attacking for six either way, but this at this point, we can use future cards to block this uh, rather than the cards we have to have on board. Okay, that's really good. Wow, Lotus into Anguish Stone Making? Sure, let's make our hand a little bigger. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so basically... Um, 10 cards left? Sure, I'll mill something. We'll hit a Gristle Brand and next turn we can get it back. Let's get rid of this guy. One, two, three, four. Let's play an Elspeth. Play our land. Equip a Clamp to the Death Toucher. You got it. And make a guy. All right. Hmm. 
seems that seems okay. Okie dokie. Would have drawn a Swamperino. <sighs> See now, because they have those big fat idiots, I might want Toxic Deluge. I'm also tempted to just put like Hollow Blade, Tidal of Skull, or Silver Blade Paladin and play like Ravages of War. Hmm. I wonder if that's any good. Kenny and Thwok, have a good night, guys. I don't know. Recurring Nightmare seems good. We just don't have a way to get creatures in the graveyard that efficiently. We have literally Pack Rat and Season Hollow Blade, but no way to like... I don't know. We also only have Worm Coil and Gristlebrand that are even remotely like graveyardable. I don't feel like the Blinks are that good. Especially because Elspeth, Yorian's one of the few creatures that dies to Elspeth's son's champion. Which is not great. You need to cut one creature, or one card, I guess. Might be Sling Gang. Yeah, that seems fine. Well, this is what we wanted. Black Lotus. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's exciting. Um What do we do with that? Actually, turn one retreat seems pretty decent. Untapped land would be great. I'd love to play a pack right here. Thanks a million.
Hmm. You're going to crack in response to my trigger? Doom, 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 doom. If we hit land, uh, it's worse, but land is still good. No, nope, that's definitely worse. Okay. Thank you. So they're gonna have three, four, five mana. Well, that's that's better then. Oh, Dennis, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, wow. That's now we're definitely going to do it. Yeah, that's really good. Wow. Ravages of War coming in clutch here, boys. Hope we can win with our cats. That's fine. We can actually skull clamp that guy. That's much stronger. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, so... Gotti, three, four. This is this is lethal on board, and they can't draw extra cards here. So, if we hit a land, we can also put counters on all our guys. If we hit a land, we can also anguish on making their uh, Thran Dynamo. If they hit a land, they can also go land upheaval, but. I mean, it doesn't seem that great. We definitely have a... They might not have a choice, though. Five mana. Wrath of God. Sure, I'll draw two more. Play guy. Fell yeah, this is actually really good for us. Oh, that's pretty decent. So let's play this, say yes, make a guy. Where's your upheaval now? Oh, we've already anguished the dynamo. Three, six, one, two, three, four. All right, everybody's lethal. Every little thing to do is lethal. Man, this game's been taking a while. Oh, 
Oh, and we win the game. Good games. Man, what a wild game. Okay, let's jump into the belly of the round two beast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got batter skull <laughs> and sword. Oh boy, this is all we want. And by sword, I mean stone forge. We don't even need to search for this. We can search for our skull clamp. We're gonna draw it on turn two, so that's gonna be unfortunate. But you got it. Where's a jitte when you need it? Every little thing she does. Was this three mana? Oh man, this is just Sylvan Library dot deck over here. Let's get a Clamperino out. When does this cube end? Like tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the team run starts the same day. They both end on Wednesday. One. Oh, what a Ballast for Stone. We're hoping for uh, we're hoping for a land. Oh, actually, we don't need a land. We can just put sort of feast and famine into play, sort of fire and ice rather. I mean, this seems like an easy situation to block, right? Do you want to lose your dryad, <laughs> or do you want to take six and lose your elvish mystic instead? No, I'm excited. Oh, boy. Making their guys cradle worse. Nice. Okay. Every little thing she does is magic. That's fascinating. D 
Okay, that's a decent. Let's put this on you. Move the sword over here. Draw some cards. Seems okay. And this seems like an easy. Either either you trade your dryad and turn off your guy's cradle. Okay. Okay, so you have two two mana right now. Next turn we get to play Elspeth. Oh, we can we've got the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Get rid of that Oko no Joko. You got it. This is nine damage, so actually, it's this is lethal on board. So I don't know what this. This seems interesting. Both. Are you just dead? Okay, don't know why you did that with the Oka. That was a weird choice. Man. Dudes in their Okos, am I right? Faith fetters could be good. So we can discard Grisselburn and Pack Rat, then reanimate with Liliana. That seems good. Black Lotus. He always just wants a Black Lotus on turn one. It's unbelievable. Oh, that seems even better, actually. Give me the skull. You gonna kill this? 
Assassin's Trophy, I dare you. Okay. Why is everybody playing three, four colors? I don't understand these decks, man. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, don't care about that guy. Sad thing is I kind of want to just skull clamp this rat, but then we have no way to discard this. So I think we're passing. And it doesn't matter how quickly we get to Liliana if we're just don't have a way to put Gristlebrand in the yard. They've also missed a land drop. They might miss another one here if they don't crack Gavin my Elder, so they're going to do that just to make sure. Okie dokie. I might actually just make another rat here, to be quite honest. I might discard the batter skull here. I mean, this is just a good amount of damage. Let's get a Goblet Shrine. Equip a rat. Probably should have done this pre combat to deal an extra point, but. I mean, they're either facing a lot of damage or we get to draw land and reanimate Crystal Brand. That's presuming the wipe the board with like a damnation or something. This does not strike me as a damnation or language deck, though, so. Sure. Yep. That's just fine. I, I mean, I'm tem very tempted to just face Fetters to Sky Attack for nine. Or we can Elspeth make a rat fly. This is six. They block here. They take nine that way as well. Hmm. Or we can just get back a Gristlebrand. Let's just get back Gristlebrand. You still take six, and then Gristlebrand's lethal. Sure. No spell pierce. Oh, no spell pierce. And we definitely have enough life to just draw seven here. <laughs> go to, go to eight and fill our hand. Seems good. Sure, draw seven. Yep. Get a get another black source. You got it. 
how do we kill them this turn? One, two, three. I think I think we have lethal here. Yeah, this is actually going to be very, very close. But we got it. One, two, three. Make a rat. Uh, oblivion ring. Go to this guy. Activate shambling vent. Eight, yeah. Whoa! 2-0 right now, my dudes. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I always forget to pause, and then you guys just sit there waiting. Oh, all right, not too bad. Are you guys still there? I haven't literally no one has said anything for like eight minutes, and it's really it's really freaking me out. Hello, guys, are you there? Hello. Guys, I'll keep this hand. Just enjoying the smooth plays. I'm never gonna dance again. One, is this, a, is this the third, like, this is the third fucking Sylvan Library green, blue, black matchup in a row. This is friggin' weird, man. Well, next time we get to go Worm Coil. That's kind of cool. I'm never gonna dance again. Are you guys gonna dance again? Is anyone gonna dance again? They're gonna romand this guy. It's not gonna. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Well, good on you. <sighs> okay, well, that's not terrible, I guess. Wow, two Oko decks back to back. That's amazing. I mean, it's kind of funny because we do need we need one more black and we can just cast Gristlebrand. No, you're not a fool.
Well, I mean, they may turn it into an elk for sure, but like, we still get to draw seven cards before that point, so. Okay. Sure. Elk to your sleeves instead of your gristle daddy. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. You sound like a crazy person, Chaos Theory. What does anything mean? You know what? Okay. You got me. It's a valid point. Yep, that's a good one. So they can only activate one Planeswalker this turn? Oh, no, they can activate both if they kill the Eidolon. Okay. I like that they paid extra mana even though they didn't need to because the Eidolon would be dead. Or extra life, rather. That's good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is nice because Pro Oko, Proko, if you will. This is a black worm coil engine which is a worm zombie with protection from blue and protection from green red blue and red Recurring Nightmare gets back Iona or Leshnorn. Well, that's pretty cool. It's still a 6-6 six, six Death Toucher. Yep, that's pretty good. That's interesting. So they just have to chump block with a Leshnorn? That doesn't seem great. Oh god, I keep thinking that's pro green. Ugh, that's terrible. Man, fourth black is really, really, uh, really kind of a pain in the ass here. 
I mean, so is Eleshnorn, I guess. We're just going to scoop this game. I can't. I don't have an effective way to deal with this. Everything dies to Eleshnorn, and we don't have a way to kill Eleshnorn, so. <sighs> we'll bring in Faith's Fetters. Which comes in every match because you have really annoying planeswalkers. Sword seems good. Let's keep taking out the lieutenant. Turn one Elspeth seems pretty decent. Oh, what up, Shunter? Is it Shunter or is it S Hunter? I want to say Shunter. I mean, having Anguished on making or Sword of Fire and Ice up next turn is pretty sweet. S Hunter. Oh, man, that's going to be harder to remember. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in for getting rid of Sylvan Library, cutting you off of as many options as you possibly can have. Oko. Frantic Search. I'm looking for Oko. And there he is. Make your little foodsy. So three, four, five. We can put you to one, which is kind of fine. We can also play Warren Power Stone and then play other Elspeth next turn. I think we actually make a blocker, put Oko to three. And then they put Oko to four, and then next turn we can kill it. We can't kill Oko. It's not an option. Yes, it is. I forgot it was. Oh, my God. Yeah, because this guy becomes a four. I literally thought he became a three, three. <laughs> okay, you guys are smart. I literally just miscounted. For some reason, I was like, well, it's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. It turns it into a 3-3. Three, three. There's so many 3-3s three, going around. Yeah, so I'm like, this is going to be a 3-3, three, three, then a 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. It's only 5. Oko goes to 1. Yeah, playing Oko just to make a food is not ideal. Two Elspeths and a partridge in a pear tree. We're definitely ultimating this next turn, so make no mistake. We just won that game. I almost like Tide Hollow Sculler here. They don't have a ton of ways to deal with the Tide Hollow Sculler. I'll take Warren Power Stone out, I think. We have Mox Diamond and Black Lotus. Oh, I should have taken Felder Retreat out. Oh, God, this hand is not great. Yeah, we're going to have to ship this bad boy. This is keepable. We'll have to get rid of Elspeth, I think. If we top deck a Lotus, it's going to be a pretty sweet turn. One Elspeth again. No, we didn't. We top decked a fucking Gristle Brand. Okay, this might be the... The 2-1 we were looking for, unfortunately.
Hello. Is it 2 1 you're looking for? I can see it in your Yeah. All you gotta do is make obvious misplays and then chat chat goes wild. They they pop it off. Okay, you got it. Oh uh, if I draw a lotus, it's gonna be sick. Okay, that's also pretty good. Could have also anguished on making it. You got it, bar of soap, brah. Still waiting for that lotus. Got a 1 in 32 chance. You got it. They're going to get acidic slime to get their Oko back. Seems good. Gristlebrand is trash, but he's going in the trash. Here we go. Acidic Slime. Get rid of Oblivion Ring. Okay. That's a good one. Yep. Do we just get to kill both? They have to make food, yeah. They have to make that into a guy. So if we anguish... Oh, they have mana drain up. Wonderful. Uh, sure. That seems not good. So now I just get to kill both? Okay, pretty bad. Plus on you. Oko and Vraska. Seems good for us. <sighs> Do you just play Nighthawk Scavenger? I mean, we're definitely going to try to anguish on making this. They'll have manager. Oh, they didn't have manager for that? Oh, wow. That seems really bad. Yeah, that's fine. We have Nighthawk Scavenger still. Yeah, that's just good. Sure, hit my Mox Diamond. It's literally just as good as a land at this point. I can see it in your smile. Really? You'd rather take one less damage? Yeah, there you go. Do that guy. Make me discard Gristlebrand. They have three cards. Hoping they don't have reanimate. Necro fucking Christ. Oh god, it never gets it never gets easier. That's fun. Every fucking time. Oh boy. So they block here, they draw seven. Yeah, this is that's insane. 
yeah, that's probably. I mean, like, I didn't. I guess I didn't see the fucking this deck being a reanimate deck in any way, shape, or form since they've never played a creature bigger than five mana. So I guess I'm an idiot. I'm 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 the dummy here. Sixteen. Yeah, that's pretty terrible for us. <sighs> oh, they went to two. Okie dokie. Yeah, pretty sure you can't win now. They have nine cards in hand. Yep. All right. Well, I mean, this is. I got... Oh, they had Niona. They did reanimate Niona. They had recurring nightmare, I guess. But that only targets their guys. So. <sighs> I don't really understand this attack, but okay. Fallen Shinobi? That would be that'd be great. <laughs> yep, there you go. Just gotta learn how to tap that signet. We still have lethal on board if they don't hit anything, though. Okay. Stoneforge. You played a land, I assume. I don't think you did play a land, actually. Yeah. I mean, this guy's six, seven, eight. They literally have to block here. Yeah. All right. No, never mind. They have way more things. So. Land into Liliana would be decent. But the odds of them having mana tithe is still high, so. Okie dokie. I mean, actually, if we if we fly here. Oh wait, actually, them cracking the fetch land might make the difference if they don't have anything here. Is this lethal? Are they just dead? What the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing! Wow, what terrible decision to crack the fetch land and kill themselves! Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can get 10% off, 15% like off, some amount off over the first few months with the link and promo code down below. And be sure to go over to twitch.tv and follow or subscribe. I think I have a couple treasure chests. <laughs> treasure chests. We'll open. I have three that I haven't opened? Let's open all of them at once. You guys are getting a treat today, boys. 20 play points, a Prismatic Strands, Vizier of Many Faces, Thief of Sanity, 
Offspring's Revenge, and Galvanoth. With the most being worth the 20 play points. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.